Hello, I'm Simon Christie and welcome to another big episode of Four Wheel Drive TV. This week we've got all of the action from the 2012 Sydney Four Wheel Drive and Adventure Show. Let's get into it. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. I'm Peter Fenwick, I'm President of the Four Wheel Drive New South Wales Association. At this show in 2012, we have over 205 exhibitors here, ranging everything to do with four wheel drive. We also include, as a joint venture this year, the Tinny and Tackle Show. So if you're a fisherman, a camper, an explorer of Australia, this is a show for you. It's really fantastic. We have 14 of our clubs here with their own displays as well as the association tent. This is a joint venture between clubs for the benefit of four-wheel drivers and educating the community. The 94 clubs across the whole of New South Wales and the ACT are here involved in our association. We are the peak representative body. If you want to join a four-wheel drive club, join one of our member clubs, you automatically become part of the association and its training operation and the show. So, think about joining a club if you want to know more about four-wheel driving and we can direct you to a club in your local area. Just contact our website for WD now.com. Hope to hear from you. Hi, I'm Fleur Mortimer and I'm from Premier Events, um, the organisers of the Four Wheel Drive Show. It's been a great weekend. Friday was a little bit woeful with the weather, but we picked up yesterday and Sunday, today. Lots happening, lots of people, lots happening at the stages as well. At the Angle Bush stage, we've got Ruthie and Pat Callanan and Ernie Dingo speaking, so they're great to check out. And we've got Paul Worsling from iFish at the fishing stage. So there's heaps happening if you're into four wheel drive and camping, there's lots going on. This show injects massive amounts of money into the local community around Blacktown and the council area. Because of that, we have good community citizens. Four-wheel drivers are very responsible, well-educated, and they know what they want. That's why this show is so focused. It's for four-wheel drivers, by four-wheel drivers, so if you want to know more about four-wheel driving in our wonderful country and exploring it, come to the show and visit us. We'll be running it again in 2013, and it'll be a great time for all. We've got jumping castles, we've got the bush stage, we've even got Ernie Dingo here talking about the Martu lands and that. G'day, I'm Ernie Dingo. I've been just travelling around the Midwest of Western Australia, four-wheel driving up there on the mighty Murchison River. That's coming up pretty soon. Other than that, you'll see me at the four-wheel drive adventure show in Perth coming up very soon. See you there. We're part of the National Association Four Wheel Drive Australia, as is every state authority or association, and we work closely with land managers and local councils to further the interests of families wanting to explore Australia in a safe, responsible way using four wheel drives and camper trailers in tents. So we've got something for everybody here. It's a lot of fun. Come on down. Look forward to seeing you. It's John from Bitters Four Wheel Drive. Just talking to Simon about some parts I've bought in for my cliffhanger car, which will be debuting 2013 cliffhanger, all going to plan. I bought a bit of the Hollywood gear. I've got a 
full set of coilover and bypass shocks for each corner of the car. We've also got hydraulic bump stops going in. We will be running a LS series motor in the car, an automatic transmission, GU diffs all round, and hopefully it should be really light and really fast. The build up on this car should be all going to plan starting when we come back from Christmas holidays in early January to keep up to date with pictures and, and photos and information on the build. Log on to the Bidders Facebook page. Yeah, just search Bidders 4 Wheel Drive Unlimited on Facebook. Uh, we'd love to hear from you and um, be interested in your opinions. The Brisbane National 4x4 Show is next on our calendar for Queensland. A collection and celebration of all things 4x4, this event has something for everyone. From the latest 4x4 and camping gear, through to tough truck and extreme 4x4 demonstrations. From there we head to the ARB LD Easter event for an amazing weekend of family friendly, fun and relaxing 4 wheel driving. I run this event out past Broken Hill and it's the ideal way to spend your Easter camping, 4 wheel driving, in the outback and with me. But there's only 10 spots left, so don't miss out. Our huge April kicks off on the 12th with the Tough Dog Tough Truck Challenge. Now a safe and family orientated event, we are expecting around 9,000 eager spectators to join us in the search for Australia's toughest 4x4. The following weekend will see us in South Australia for Tony Waitley's Australia Extreme World Records Weekend. If you like 4x4s, bikes, cars, monster trucks, quads and more doing crazy stuff then don't miss this unique Aussie event. And over the final weekend of April, the Trophy Kart Series kicks off with a celebrity race featuring Australia's top off-road racers. For further details on these and more events, please visit the event calendar at fourwheeldrivetv.com.au. Hi folks, I'm Andy from nissanpatrol.com.au. I run an online forum for Nissan Patrol enthusiasts. I encourage everyone with a Nissan Patrol to jump on. We've got online manuals. We've got a lot of Nissan Patrol enthusiasts to help you with any questions you've got or modifications to show us or just showing out your patrol. We've got games, we've got videos and a new photo gallery showing all the members' photos and what modifications they've done. We do a lot of family friendly forum events. We've just come back from South Australia and we had Danny from 4 Wheel Drive TV and your 4 before 4 come up to see us at the Love Day 4 before 4 Park. It was great and thank you for him to coming up and filming a crew of 25 plus people from the forum. It was a great family fun event. We had a lot of local state meetups for everyone around Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, WA, all meeting up in their local communities, having a bit of fun with the families and I encourage everyone to jump on, sign up, it's all free, have chats about your patrol, join in the conversations. We've got all the ranges of Nissan Patrol manuals that are free to download, which are handy to use when you're working on your patrols. Thanks to Simon Miranda. Nissanpatrol.com.au is now hosting the past episodes of 4 Drive Pro Tips on the website. So I encourage everyone interested in 4 wheel driving to go on the Nissanpatrol.com.au website, watch the past episodes of 4 Drive Pro Tips, download the manuals and keep up to date with what's going on around Australia. Holden's toughest 4x4 ever has arrived. Introducing the all-new Holden Colorado 7. It comes with seven seats as standard and it's loaded with serious off-road grunt. You'll get three-ton towing and the awesome 470 newton meter Duramax diesel engine, plus an impressive weighting depth and hill descent control, all for the hardcore adventurer. The all-new Holden Colorado 7 is here. Take it off-road at your Holden dealer today. Now who doesn't want more power? And I bet that most of you with diesels have your hands in the air. DP Chip is not a snack food, it's the real deal. And simply modifies the engine's fuel injection parameters to increase performance to a measurable difference of up to 35% more power and torque and up to 10% better economy. DP Chip, the only diesel power chip with a 5 year warranty, 24 7 tech support and user adjustability. For more information on DP Chip Diesel Power, call 02 4877 1022 or visit dpchip.com. When the going gets tough, when you're bogged down deep, or when your mates reach out for help, Mean Mother is your first choice for recovery gear and winches. From the Tough as Nails Edge Series, built for passionate four-wheel drivers and packed with quality components and features, to the over-engineered Boss Series, offering superior reliability, endurance and efficiency under the toughest conditions, Mean Mother has a winch for all applications. Check out meanmother.com.au and explore your limits with a Mean Mother winch, the mother of all winches.
Well, this Hilux that I've been driving for the last few days is a beautifully kitted out vehicle. There's a, there's a whole swag of accessories bolted on it on top of the car, the side of the car, in front of the car, inside the car. The thing that I really got to use today was the underbody protection. We came over one of the dunes and probably came over there a little bit too fast and I was at the back of the convoy and there was quite a heavily rutted section in front of me. You could feel the fronts of the car bottom out a little bit on the rut but basically what was coming into contact with these ruts was the underbody protection. We have a shield of steel basically from the bull bar right the way to the back of the transfer case protecting the sump, the gearbox and the transfer case itself. So when you're driving in these sort of conditions where you've got you know, some fairly big sort of washouts and so forth when you come out over the dunes and also some of the rocky sections, we had rocks flying everywhere earlier this morning, having that sort of steel barrier, that shield underneath the vehicle really does provide a huge amount of protection and certainly gives the driver immense peace of mind. Of course, the bull bar is the most commonly fitted accessory to vehicles, particularly in the case of protection equipment. And although we haven't seen a lot of kangaroos in this particular area, we've seen a few dingoes, a few emus and so forth, when we head further south, back down sort of through the corner country, and certainly down when we drop into Broken Hill, really would expect to see a lot of kangaroos in that area. And that's where the bull bar really comes into its own. I mean, the bull bar really does provide huge protection for the vehicle, protecting all the vital components like the radiator and all of those sensitive underbody components as well. It really is a vital piece of equipment if you're travelling in these remote regions. G'day, I'm John Panetta, I'm President of Kamikaze Four Wheel Drive Club and we're just down here at the Four Wheel Drive Adventure Show 2012 just to put on a bit of a demonstration to show people a bit about competition four-wheel driving. We've got about six vehicles here this weekend. We did have seven, unfortunately we had an electrical issue with my one, which is the big white fridge, and that has not ran since the first track. But we've got a 40 series over there with all the gear on it. It's got rear steer, it's got front dig, it's running a V6 Commodore motor. We've got Steve Price has got his FJ40 over there running 37 inch stickies that he loves his traps. What else have we got over there? We've got a Bundy over there. The Bundy does tough truck. He's got a V6 Commodore motor in it, Nissan Patrol diffs. I think he's got 35 inch tyres on it. Have a works when you want it to. We've got Kale's truck here. It's about to see a funeral home because it's finished after this weekend. Marshall's got his GQ Patrol here, the blue ute. He's going really crazy. He's really letting loose out there. He's putting on a great show for the crowd. He's nearly put it over a few times, so yeah, I'm pretty sure the crowd's enjoying that. And we've got the Orange Suzuki. He's just turned up today. He's just giving it a little crack in the morning. We'll see how he goes the rest of the day. Yeah, last year we were out here for a few days building the track. This year we went for another sort of design to build this sort of the big tough dog mountain. Unfortunately, on Friday we copped a hell of a lot of rain here. It was enough to sort of even close the event for the day. And it's really ruined our track, but uh, the guys gave it a best shot. They really moved some rocks around and moved the tyres around and they kept on giving it a go, giving it a go. Finally, they dug down to some sort of firmer soil and now they're starting to drive things. What you see around here, I mean a 37 inch tyre is quite a big tyre but in Sydney here it's one of the smallest tyres that would be run in a competition. Most of the cars would be running 38 and up, I mean I'm running 39 and a half on my car. There's, most of the cars have got the 40 inch stickies on them which is on the FJ40 and the GQ Patrol. We enjoy coming to the show here, we really like doing this. It's, it's a great way to sort of show the people of Sydney what we do, because a lot of people don't want to sort of travel out to the bush. And that way there, they can come here, Eastern Creek, it's close to everything, they can see what we do. Hopefully it eggs them on to sort of come along to events like Tough Truck, to Piri, and they can really sort of support our sport, which we all love so much. If anybody's interested in getting involved in this sport, they can contact anybody in the Four Wheel Drive Association. 
just to get inquiries into joining a club and then that way there they can join events such as Tapiri, Tough Truck, Willow Glen, etc. Yeah, I recommend it highly just to join a club for anybody, even if it's not the extreme stuff, even if it's just for tracing along up to Fraser Island or in the Victorian high country. I recommend you join a club that way there, you make a lot of friends and you get a lot of support from those club members. Yeah, this is just a small taste of what we had on for entertainment at the show this year. Hope to see you next year, we can build a bigger and better track. If you live in or around the Brisbane region, then the next big 4x4 Expo coming your way is the Brisbane National 4x4 Show held over March 15th to 17th. Kicking off on the Friday and running right through until Sunday, this exciting show has beefed things up considerably for 2013 with more outdoor displays and indoor exhibitors than ever before. The manufacturers are back, so you'll see the latest 4x4s on offer along with the industry's best 4x4 accessories, camping, boating and fishing equipment. And watch out when the Love Day Extreme Show coordinates with the amazing Tough Truck Challenge display. For promos and ticket giveaways, visit the National 4x4 Show Facebook page and make sure you're there for Brisbane's best indoor 4x4 event. The next generation of shock absorbers is here. Leading the way in 4x4 suspension development, Old Man Emu introduces the most advanced and finely tuned shock absorber on the market. Nitro Charger Sport incorporates a new valving system that instantly adapts to all terrain for an outstanding smooth ride and phenomenal control. Backed by a three year 60,000 kilometer warranty, you can trust Nitro Charger Sport, built in Australia for Australian conditions. Do you need more from your four-wheel drive suspension? Designed for Aussie conditions, Superior Engineering has a suspension solution to suit any four-wheel drive. Mix and match from the widest range of specialty suspension components or opt for the latest in spring and dampening technologies. Throw in the widest range of 4x4 suspension accessories and Superior Engineering is your complete 4x4 and suspension specialist. Superior Engineering, it's engineered to be superior. For more information, visit superiorengineering.com.au. Warning, water in fuel is one of the biggest killers of diesel engines, but there is now a unique alarm system available that lets you know when there are dangerous water levels in your fuel system. WaterWatch is a simple and effective fuel alarm that offers LED and audible warning signals. Easily fitted, WaterWatch is inexpensive insurance for your vehicle. Avoid huge repair costs, ensure your motor runs clean, and be warned of any water issues with the innovative WaterWatch. For more information, visit waterinddiesel.com.au. Hi guys, my name's Daniel. This is my 98 GU TD42. Running a five inch lift, flexi coils, tough dog springs, worn high mount winch, DTS turbo underneath. No intercooler as yet, but that's probably a future add-on that I'll be putting on there. Inside, it's custom gauges, the usual boost EGT, 35 inch BFG KM2s. They're on 16 inch alloy rims. Three inch straight exhaust, got a custom hot shower underneath. 60 litre tank in the back, drawers, mill weld sliders, mill weld rear bar and mill weld front bar. They've been real good, I'm really happy with the way they came out. Usually I run the rooftop tent when we go away. Front and rear e-lockers, yeah that's about it for now. Alpine high country, that's probably my most favourite spot. Love going up there. Weekends out in the bush, probably in the future I'd love to go do a few of the deserts. We just need a bit more time. If you'd like to join us for our next Your Rig trip, then email myself with your details. Each weekly winner takes home a cap and stubby holder courtesy of all sat phone, an any sharp edge sharpener and scissors thanks to Keesler knives, a promo pack courtesy of ARB including Forby the plush toy, a travel mug, 
a 4B drink bottle, the new ARB cap, a pair of emergency travel socks, the latest ARB jacket, and a set of valve caps to bling your rig. There's an ARB Penrith stubby holder, a pen and cap thanks to Berrimer diesel and DP chip, a massive map of Australia, a GDT Simpson desert map, and Travel Atlas, courtesy of HEMA Maps Australia, a Manel Motors stubby holder, a USB rechargeable torch thanks to Nava, the History of Land Cruiser DVD courtesy of Terrain Tamer, a U-Fix-It windscreen repair kit and tyre ratchet set, there's a copy of Dirt Cop magazine, South Pacific Bow Hunter magazine and Wild Deer and Hunting Adventures magazine, a set of the Australian design expander pegs, an up and go breakfast replacement courtesy of Sanitarium, a set of four-wheel drive TV medium stickers, a stubby of Bundaberg ginger beer, and an Australian designed Aussie drink mate. A Black Widow travel mate tyre repair kit or a Donaldson diesel fuel filter kit. The electric blue span set snap strap, and it's all neatly packaged up in an ARB cargo gear carry bag. Yeah, I'd like to thank Simon and Miranda, the guys from Four Wheel Drive TV and all their sponsors. It's been a real good weekend out here this weekend and hopefully we'll find a lot more mud. I'm Peter Fenwick, I'm President of the Four Wheel Drive New South Wales Association which is uh, an organisation representing 94 four wheel driving clubs across the state and the territory. This is our four wheel drive show, it's our third year of running the annual show. We started it primarily to assist the general public to understand more about four wheel driving and to give our clubs a chance to display their talents. We are a registered training organisation in our own right and because of that we have a massive training centre up on the track here and visitors to the show get to climb into vehicles supplied by car manufacturers and dealers and experience what a new car is like in the hands of an experienced four-wheel driver and frequently the driver running the vehicle around our test track is an accredited trainer and that's very important to us because we believe in skills and safe environmental practices. G'day everybody, I'm Tony Ellery from Blue Mountains Four Wheel Drive Club. I'm here also with the New South Wales ACT Association and today we've got the Four Wheel Drive Track up here at the Four Wheel Drive Adventure Show Sydney. Now what we've got is the training facility which is built by Four Wheel Drive Club members and it's also used for training by corporate providers and also the clubs as well. You can see the big crowd over the back here. It's great to see so many people out here. We're putting them in some loan vehicles we've received from things like uh, Holden. They've got a couple of Colorados out here. We've got a number of vehicles from Toyota, an FJ Cruiser, 200 series. We've got the new dual cab 78 series as well, a Hilux. We've also got a couple of other vehicles loaned to us by Tough Dog. So we're having a great day out here. Lots of volunteers helping out. It's great to see so many people out here at Sydney and we hope that you're enjoying it on the show as well. On our four wheel drive track we've got a number of obstacles. We've basically named them after some of our iconic tracks. So we've got a bit of a wombat hole run, we call that one Brindabella. We've got a nice deep hole which is reminiscent of gunshot. A couple of hills up there as well, Sand Patch, Stockton, a couple of moguls that we call Yalwall. And it really gives the vehicles a good workout. So when people hop in these standard vehicles they can see what they can do off the shelf. If you need any more information, go to the Four Wheel Drive Association website, which is 4wdnow.com. That'll take you to links to all the affiliated clubs, 
and you know of course come and see any of the clubs that are out here at the show fantastic Watch out for our coverage of the Wonthaggy Mud Drags coming soon to 4 Drive TV. There was no shortage of fantastic 4x4 mudslinging action during this event and 4 Drive TV has all of the highlights spread over three super feature stories. Check 4WheelDriveTV.com.au for station details and times. And stay tuned for the best 4x4 coverage worldwide. G'day, I'm John Panetta. I actually usually drive the big white fridge, but for this weekend, Kale has let me use his GQ Patrol, or whatever's left of a GQ in it. I'm having a great time out there. It's running 37 inch boggers, which were donated to him by Mark Borg from our club. And we're showing everyone out there what boggers can do. We're gonna stick it to all the guys with the traps. The car's got a V6 Commodore motor. It's got 85% reduction transfer case. It's got the standard GQ patrol diffs. The coilovers front and rear, it's got full hydro steering. It doesn't go too bad. It's got a fair bit of punch for a V6 Commodore motor. It's not too bad. I think what some of you might not understand is that the reason I'm driving this vehicle is because this is its last time out and Kale's decided to let me finish it off. He's seen what I did to the big white fridge so he thought I could do the same to this but unfortunately not so good. Well viewers, thank you for tuning in. Now remember there are fantastic expos, four-wheel drive events happening right across the country. Jump onto fourwheeldrivetv.com.au, check out the calendar, there's plenty coming your way. I'm Simon Christie, thank you for tuning in. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard, look forward to your company next week.